Hey Dark Blue community, so excited to have you here. Today we are gonna be doing my first walkthrough workout. It's actually going to be a hip stretch workout. So not exactly a workout, but a stretch. And I am interested to know if you guys like the walkthroughs better or if you like to see them and be able to flip back through them. I'm thinking of doing some on YouTube. So I just kind of want to get a feel for what you like and what types of workout routines you prefer. I personally prefer the walkthrough where you have a voice going through the workout with you just because I feel like, you know, you feel less alone when you're going through your workout and it just provides like a community feel to it. So let me know what you think. And without further ado, let's jump straight into that stretch. The first move we're gonna start with is a lunge with an overhead stretch. So you're gonna start with your right leg and put it forward at a 90 degree angle. And then you're gonna take your left hand and stretch it over top of your head. So you're really gonna feel it in the obliques and you're also going to feel a little hip stretch and quad stretch and hamstring stretch all in your right leg. We're just gonna hold here for about 15 seconds. Make sure you're breathing the whole way through and you're really feeling that stretch in the obliques, but not too much to where it feels uncomfortable. Two more seconds and then we're going to move to the next side so you're going to take that right leg back and put your left leg forward at a 90 degree angle and do the same thing on the opposite side so take that right hand over and feel the stretch in the right oblique you can wiggle that hip around a little bit if that feels good for you that gives a little more of a hamstring stretch. And then we're going to do five more seconds on this side. Perfect couple moves we're going to be doing on the floor and I think you're really gonna like this one this one really really stretches out that inner thigh and so you're going to start with your hands on the floor and then you're gonna take your right leg back and just stretch it back as far as you can what still feels comfortable for you and then you're going to take your left leg and just stretch it out. You're gonna kind of make a seven figure with your legs. And then do what feels comfortable for you. For me, I like to go on my forearms and just have a nice little stretch here. So we're gonna stay here for about 15 seconds. And if you feel it comfortable to shift side to side a little bit and really um, work on those muscles in your internal leg, then feel free to do so. You can just stay still if that feels better for you as well. All right, let's move to the opposite side. So we're going to put our palms on the floor, lift our body up, and then slowly lift that right leg to the middle. And then we're going to do the opposite side. So take the left leg back. You can go on your forearms and then go ahead and push that right leg out to the side and do the opposite side. This side for me is so much more tight. So again, go with what feels good. One side you might do one thing and one side you might do just a little bit deeper of a stretch because that feels good to you. And that's okay, listen to your body. Just. We do our best in these stretches to make sure we're balancing things out. So we want to try to make sure you're as even as possible with your stretches. But for example, if you're on the right side and it feels super tight, like for me, then you might want to stay in this stretch a little bit longer, or you might want to do a little more shifting, do what feels good for you. 
So we're gonna have five more seconds. Two and one. Great job. For the next move, we're gonna need a booty band. So if you have a small circular resistance band or you have a longer one, it really doesn't matter. You can use them in the same way. So just use whatever you have. You can also use a small towel if that works for you. And you're gonna wrap that resistance band around your right leg. Lay back on the floor. And then you're going to bring that leg straight up and have a little bit of a bend in there. You don't want to overstress your leg. Just do what feels good to you. I'll say that a lot, by the way. <laughs> and so you're going to stretch back that leg. Again, make sure you, you can feel it in your hamstring, but you don't want to overextend it. And then you're going to bring your right hand and your right leg to your right side. And you don't have to stretch all the way down to the floor, but just go down as far as you can until you feel a little bit of a stretch in the inner part of your thigh. This one is one of my personal favorites. Ooh, you can really feel that. <laughs> all right, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, bring that leg up, and then you can slowly bend your knee and replace your right foot with your left foot. And then do the opposite side. So take your left hand, put it in the booty band, and then slowly pull it down to the left side. So my left side is a little bit tighter, at least in this position, it seems to be tighter. So I'm going to be going a little less uh, low on this side. Again, just listening to my body and making sure I don't overextend any muscles. And then five more seconds on this side. Five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly come up to the top. You can release that leg now. Now we're gonna go back into the right side and loop our foot back in there. Have our right leg or our right foot in the booty band and our right hand. And then we're going to pull our knee down to our body. So again, your knee doesn't have to touch your chest. However, you wanna pull it as far down as feels good for you. And this is kind of like a hamstring stretch as well as a hip opener. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you can release that foot and then go ahead and loop your left foot in and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side for the last stretch of the day. So go ahead and get your leg as straight as possible and then slowly lower down Hmm. I hope you feel really proud of yourself for walking through this with me. I know it's not easy to take time for yourself, but it's really worth it when we can fit in a quick stretch because a lot of us are really diligent with our workouts, but we don't stretch enough and stretching helps us recover. It helps us build back those muscles even quicker. So it's super important. All right, so we're going to do five more seconds. Five, 
four, three, two, and one. All right, you are all done. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for joining me today. And I can't wait to do more videos like this. Let me know if you like the walkthrough style or if you prefer the types of workouts that I've been doing on my Instagram page. Let me know if you'd be wanting to see more of this on YouTube. And I can't wait to hear from you in the comments section below. So I will talk to you all later.